Admiral, manufacturer of the world's most powerful television receivers, and maker of table model radios. Admiral portable radios. Radio phonograph combinations. A complete line of conventional refrigerators. And the famous Admiral dual temp refrigerator. Admiral electric ranges with flexo heat. A full line of television combinations. And the finest of them all, the famous three foot theater. Admiral. Good evening, goblins and ghouls, and welcome to the Wednesday Night Scream Stream Minisode. I'm your host, Spakenstein, joined as always by my very good friend, Mr. Evan Sink. Good evening. How uh, how are we doing tonight, Evan? We're doing pretty good. Pretty good. It's uh it's uh it's hump day. Hump. As, uh as uh, our mailman likes to say. Oh, I forgot about that story. You told me about that. Yeah, you're over enthusiastic mailman. Does yeah, at work we have the most animated uh, delivery person I've ever met. He's, he rules. I love him. It's good. Yeah, it's good that you that you got a delivery person with personality. That's you know, I mean, unless unless you're just an antisocial person and you just. You know, you would prefer a very, uh, like, secretive mailman who, like, you know, s- d- hides your package somewhere in your yard when you and you didn't even know he was there. That would be now. Uh, uh, you're describing something that I, 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 I didn't know that I wanted. But <laughs> is kind of intriguing to me. Well, I, you know. I, I think I'd kind of like to have a really like you know you have a secretive mailman you're always wondering there's something off about that guy but this guy's up to something but I can't he's the best just he's can't the best hit the nail on the head yeah what what you know I mean when you're when you're a mailman you just through what do they say through rain and wind and sleet and snow um they're gonna get the job done um and in the dark they don't they leave that part out but that's they should add that. <laughs> <laughs> they do it under under the cover of night. It's when they deliver your packages. That would be a lot more. Cr- they don't deliver the mail at night most times. If they did, uh, yeah, probably a lot more crime. I would imagine. Not would not be good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of a <laughs> kind of a Santa Claus kind of situation. Uh, yeah. You wake up and you have a uh, presence at your door. Yeah, that, I got well. I actually, that's exactly what I described, isn't it? They thank you for pointing that out, Evan. Um, and thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Uh, I see Silarn is in the house. Uh, you, with yes, yeah, replace the U- USPS with the suspense <laughs> of not receiving mail. I mean, yeah, what's what's more suspenseful than waiting for your package to arrive than just not getting it ever? You know, yeah, yeah perpetual you really, waiting. You keep ratcheting up that tension. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what we at the Scream Stream want in our mailmen. So, uh, mailmen viewers out there, if you're listening, uh, Amazon delivery drivers, whatever kind of delivery or mail person you may be, uh, mix it up for us. We're we like to be shocked here on the Scream Stream, uh, and we've certainly got another shocking episode of some public domain horror for you tonight. Uh, also, uh, before I go any further, you see Fresh Rogan is not in the house tonight, unfortunately. Uh, but 
Friday, the big, the big stream, the feature stream, he'll be back. So don't worry, he's not dead. I love making that joke. It's my favorite joke when one of you guys is out and I get to <laughs> change the saturation dial over to all the way to black and white. So much fun. Um. So, yeah, we're getting into another exciting episode of... Oh, wait, Evan, didn't you have a question you want to ask me about Fresh? Uh, It, it was about the show. I'll, oh, I'll, oh, oh, about the show. I'll, okay. I'll ask it later. Let me... Okay, okay. I'll, but we are about to get into tonight's episode of Lights Out. Uh, it, and again, if you saw last week's episode, our first mini-sode of season five... It was entitled The Meddlers, and it was actually, again, I said this to Evan, it, to me, uh, just speaking for myself, uh, it delivered. It didn't, uh, it, it, it delivered as promised. It, it sent a chill up my spine. Um, I, you know, again, we, we've seen The Veil, and we've seen One Step Beyond in our previous minisodes, so we we've had some pretty bummer endings from these anthology shows why fresh loves them so much um and so last week we actually got we we got some death we got some murder we got some ghosts we got some freaking ghost not just, action not just ghosts southern ghosts civil war confederate ghosts civil war confederate ghosts confederate ghosts Garden. Nothing scarier than a, than a ghost is uh, a potentially racist ghost. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the like the least. Uh, y- yeah, not the ghost you want to encounter. If you do encounter a racist ghost, you you can try to beat the shit out of it. I don't know. It depends on what kind of ghost you have. Whether you can, you know, it has some kind of physical form that you can actually beat up, or if you're just gonna punch through like a cloud and go. Pfft. You know, just nothing. Uh, then, then you can't do anything about that kind of ghost. Fat ghost, yeah, yeah. You know, Silarn, you could, you could say certainly fat ghost. Um, you know, you look at the ghosts, the the air ghosts, and like Casper, like Casper's brothers. They're all pretty fat, I think, right? Um, even in the old car- Casper cartoons that we've seen on our mainstream, the other ghosts are pretty fat. And then you got. Uh-huh. Little Casper, tiny poor little Casper. Um, but no, so we did. We had ghosts last week, and they took their revenge on the meddlers. That's pretty good. So we'll see if this week's episode can deliver. It is entitled "The Angry Birds," and it's not not the video game. We know we know what you're thinking. We know what you're thinking. The video game, yes, no, I can assure you. There's no connection, despite you may you may your first thought may be, well, the video game obviously ripped off tonight's episode of Lights Out, and I would um, and that was the camp I was in, and no, Silent, I'm not haunted by a fat ghost. That's not that's not true, but uh, so I, you know, I, you'd be you'd be okay for mistaking Angry Birds for Angry Birds, but this is the Angry Birds. The V is very important here. Um, makes all the difference. Yeah, I'm not sure if I if I buy it. I don't know if I buy that. This is uh, this is just parallel thought. I I think, uh, you know, I I, I might need a, a refresher on the story of uh the video game, but I I think uh, you know, we we might have a we might have a a lawsuit on our hands. We get this in front of the right people. Well, we'll get our lawyer on the horn and see what we. Let's see if maybe there's a case here that we can somehow somehow get behind Let's get a little get a little extra green up in here um but you know we we want to see the justice is done obviously um we're not we're yeah, not just I don't think you're I don't think you're allowed to uh to adapt things in the public domain uh, no no not at all uh it's actually very tricky it depends on the material. It's a case by case basis. <laughs> um, and it is. <laughs> uh, 
and yeah so i mean but you but again like for public domain horror the title the angry birds is pretty promising uh and it also is very timely for this show in particular if you saw last week's feature episode our season five premiere the brain that wouldn't die or the short that we posted on our youtube page this week um i did talk about the current concern current fear i guess you could say that i have about the hawk the hawks plural actually that are flying well, around more than one there now. is more than one and it was a shock to me that's so so yeah so we we talked about this on friday i actually saw both evan and fresh on saturday and evan uh what do you want to tell our audience what you uh witnessed on saturday uh, okay well uh i did see a bird uh so i i, I can confirm that garrett isn't making this up he's not uh imagining uh a hawk is uh in proximity to him i don't know that i can uh i don't want to speak for you know the intentions of this bird <laughs> but uh... <laughs> Look, I'm not it's around, saying at least. it is around a lot. It has got a heavy presence. And Cylarn, yes, Cylarn also was was present this weekend. He wasn't happy about my obsessing about the hawk either. He saw the next day, though, that there were two. So he knew that we had more than one. And so wait, you weren't just seeing double? No, 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 no. Unfortunately, uh, just the day before I, I, that morning, I got late, qu you know, a quick laser eye surgery, outpatient, you know, like two hours, bing, bang, boom, no bandages, nothing. Uh, so I wasn't seeing double anymore, actually. Thank you very much. No, it was a, there. I don't know if they were mating or if they're friends or if they're family or what the hell these two hawks were doing, but they were flying all around. And so, so basically, uh, angry birds have been on my mind recently. And so, what better way to really continue to ring in lights out than with something that's very timely? And so that's why we're bringing you the Angry Birds this evening. I think it'll be uh, it'll be ridiculous. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Again, the fact that this is a show sh shot in a television studio, they don't really have, you know, they're very limited in what they how much they can move around, where they can go, what they can do. But last week's episode actually did more than I was expecting. So I'm interested to see what how they pull off this Angry Birds plural situation if it's just an angry bird i'll i'll be a little disappointed i won't yeah, lie that's, uh, that's false advertising it is false advertising. if you put that s in there you're plural i i am even expecting more than two if there's just two i'll be upset um i need like a six or more birds kind of situation to really be really be terrified um yeah like some kind of uh uh, like like a swarm of birds, maybe. Right. Uh, whatever whatever the the plural of birds. Yeah, like you, collective. Can we just call all groups of birds murders? Murders of birds. Right. But then I that mean, sounds like maybe we're advocating for the murdering of birds. Maybe <laughs> we don't want to do that. Um. So we say um, but a murder of crows. Um. I mean, let's 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 cut the nonsense. Obviously, flock is the accepted term for any group of birds i guess right well that's that's just what they want you to think that's what the guys in big government have been pushing for all these years they want you to believe that flock yeah it and just for sheep but i say it's exclusive to sheep no, we we're not getting into the politics of barnyard animals. This is an animal farm, all right? Let's we got to dial so it back it, here. It, is it or is it not for the birds? 
<sighs> this is where we could really use some crickets right now. Um, yes, <laughs> tonight's and we we did we did hit on that phrase before we hopped on tonight. But Evan Evans, of course, going to use it perfectly every time. Yeah, you can say that tonight's entire mini soda, Evan is for the birds and i think on that note if you're ready to get into it if you unless is there anything before we get into tonight's chilling episode of lights out i i think i'm ready uh are you are you ready are you feeling a little afraid i'm feeling i'm feeling very afraid (laughs) um no, I mean, again, remember, if you didn't see last week, this show has a host who's basically a disembodied head that starts up. See, I hit my mic. I can't even get like as close to my camera as he is to the camera in the show. But he starts with his eyes like right here. And then it, the camera dollies uh, it. it Not dollies, not the word I'm looking for. It comes back and and you get the candle bit. So yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and kick it over, uh, Evan. If you got it queued up, uh, I do. Then we are going to get into the exciting beginning of "Lights Out: The Angry Birds." Lights out. <laughs> So we weren't on we weren't on mic at the time, but uh, I, I do want to uh, have it on record how much I uh, enjoyed the ad going into this one. That I've organ never head. been. Yeah, I've, I think they're trying to scare you into buying an appliance. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll buy it. Will conquer the strength of the mighty. Does that amuse you? Well, I wouldn't laugh just yet. <laughs> Love that. He's got that down pat. Yeah, he's got the eyes. All right, cool it on the heart, buddy. You get, you're just really getting way into it. Got, we got some bird action. Yeah, I've got our, our bird count is oh, at no. one. Bird count at one. My sh- my shit just buffered for a split second, Evan, so uh, hopefully okay. I'm not <laughs> too far behind you. I don't think I am. Is she? What is she? Is that is a cat? A cat? I think so. Okay. I believe it was a cat. Yeah, I was wondering what these birds have uh, to be so angry about. But... <laughs> yep, that's exactly what those angry birds look like. Is this is this what the sketches of the people who are attacked by the angry birds is the uh, they won't do. the police sketch? Was this the you bird that attacked you? Bird picture. And who is this, this Caldwell? And why did you assign the job to him? I told you to get Waldo Bryan. Well, I couldn't get Bryan. He isn't available. Oh, no, no. I don't want any excuses. He's the best there is. When Waldo Bryan does a pick the bird, you, you think it's going to fly right off the paper. You can almost hear it sing. I know, sir. He's terrific. He likes birds. Knows a great God, deal you really, you really seem to have a thing for birds, sir. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Walter and I are old friends. Did you tell him it was for me? Did you tell him this is a million-dollar advertising campaign? I did. A million dollars on these out. birds. He says he's not doing commercial art anymore. He's moved out to the, into the country and refuses to come to town. I called him several times. I even talked to his wife. Yeah, do, do bird artists oh, make that much? Adapt, I, huh? I had no idea it was so lucrative. <laughs> what did she have to say? <laughs> well, she's all good. Cool. She tried to get him down here, but he wouldn't budge. Mm. Beg your pardon? Mm. No, nothing, nothing. I was just thinking. You know, Adele doesn't belong in the country. 
Adele doesn't belong in the country. She needs she needs to be in the recording studio getting out another album, bro. I agree. <sighs> but that's that's for another show. Yeah, you know this guy's just, you know, Chewing on all the pencils in the house really um, makes it fun picking up a pencil. It's got spit and bite marks all over it. That's how he get. Uh, he, it makes the drawings so lifelike. I've been waiting for you to say that all morning. Nothing. I I'm sorry. Oh, um, no. Did you finish the drawing? Mm. Oh, I'm going to go out again. That was my out. favorite but bird. But what the drawing? The canary will die of exposure and... <laughs> I can't do any work when I feel this way. <laughs> Why do you keep talking about money all the time? We have enough. Enough for what? To keep alive and face another dull day? For heaven's sakes, a dull day. We have one. enough for a bird. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> That's not true. I'm trying to provide for you. I'm trying to provide for my <laughs> bird. My, the whole family. <laughs> All of us. Is the million dollar advertising uh, campaign beneath your talent? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Welcome to the club, lady. Because I understand the pitfalls of live I entertainment. The way I see them, not through someone else's eyes. Honey, you understand that, don't you? Oh. I wish I could express myself as eloquently as you do. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Miss Hanson. Who are you talking to? Birds again? <laughs> uh, that crazy <laughs> fella just talking to them birds again. Uh, Classic, like this here? guy. Classic, nosy principal. neighbor. Yeah. When you were a baby, your mother used to put you we don't need to do any more Seinfeld bits. We we exhausted that ad nauseum last last episode. Yes, I remember. Oh, I've missed this place. I'm glad I'm back here. I never have this many over at my place. Come in. Trees, flowers. You can put in a bird bath. I never have this many. I guess they he's like got like you. three bird baths. No, it's you they like, Waldo. This guy's so rich, no, he's got it. three bird baths. I think they'd shun this place with that catch you got. Adele enjoys having it around. Well, I've got nothing against cats, but that one of yours is the meanest animal I've ever seen. He's just always hungry for birds. Oh, cats don't hunt uh. birds for food, Mr. Hansen. They've got to be very hungry to eat. Uh -oh. It's a, more of a kind of a sport for them. Ah, it seems like mighty poor sport to me. I guess maybe Mother Nature knows what she's up to, huh? <laughs> Listen to that. I wonder what's going on. Uh-oh. I don't know. I suppose they're scrapping amongst themselves, do really. No, no. It's not that. Yeah? It's almost as... Almost as if they were angry. <laughs> Are they going to say it? Where's the cat? Outside. When did you let it out? Two minutes ago. Let the cat out without this collar. You promised you wouldn't. You promised. Well, it, it makes them uncomfortable. Well, it's it's the only way they're safe if they hear the bells and the. Cat this guy's so them. concerned for his animals. You gotta. Yeah. The... <laughs> Cat's out without a collar, Mr. Hanson. Evan, it, 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 it cut out on you, I think. Sure. God, dang it. <laughs> Evan, just keep screaming, and eventually I'll hear you. The 
can't find it. Uh, I'll take it easy. It, it'll be okay. Couldn't have gone far on that small, <laughs> small sound more. stage. <laughs> yeah, it, could, it was 10 by 20 yards. Being angry and all that? Hey, Alan. Something terribly wrong, Mr. Hanson. Something's wrong. I know it. How do you know it? Just because they're making a ruckus, that doesn't mean anything. It does. I don't know how to explain it, but they're trying to tell me something. <laughs> how do you think I knew about the cat being out? Oh, I don't know. Hunch, I guess. Oh, is this guy telepathic? With, he's got some telepathy with birds know, going on? Got a whole bird deal. You're going to tell me you understand that chatter? No, no, not the chatter. The feeling. I understand how they feel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I vibe with these birds. Me and these birds are totally vibing, bro. You yourself said that the birds like me. Is it so strange then that I should understand how they feel? Where are you going? Uh, oh no. What is it? Uh oh. What do you got? Poor dead little bird. Hmm? How did the cat oh. kill the bird in the bird bath? That's a great question. The canal, yeah. He drowned it, Evan. He held its head underwater, oh. and it was like a Tom and Jerry type situation. This cat is sadistic. <laughs> Sorry, he went to the the Tomcat school of of uh, prowling. You know what? I think this lady drowned that bird. <laughs> damn you! She damn you! Is this how you get back at me? <laughs> Tell me what you know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Is this why you let the cat loose? But... Adele, I love you. Why do you do these things? Oh my don't God! You know. Psycho. Because you're spying. Because you could have a lot and you're satisfied with little. Because you have the heart of a bird. Wow. Oh, jeez. That's brutal. Yeah, jeez. This is uh, this is not a healthy relationship. Not at all. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do have the heart of a bird. But remember, birds can be made angry too. <laughs> Listen. Listen, they're angry now. You don't know what's going on out there, but I do. Ooh. <laughs> Ominous. Maybe this is what you need to do. You need to start vibing with this bird. And we will take a break. You think I need to form a bond, start feeling what the hawk in my yard is feeling, Evan? Yeah. Yeah. You could, <laughs> uh, I mean, just think you could have not one, but two uh, hawk companions. That's pretty cool. That's true. I just have an army of hawks at my command eventually, right? You just, right. Whole bird army. It's, I mean, I feel it, like well, that's right, where it's well, going with this guy. Yeah, you know, well, the hawks are on top. I think if if you get if you get them, they probably have like a whole uh like like a whole like a whole swarm of uh, right. of subordinates. Don't even get me started on thinking that the smaller birds are in collusion with the bigger birds because it's already a tense situation in my yard. I don't need I already a little. I mean. We so we actually had some birds in our garage like that. That was kind of a problem this past summer. Luckily, over the winter, we really haven't had too many problems. Um, but let me tell you what you don't want is a bird loose in your house. I was, I had to deal with that a couple months ago too, and thank God we were able to get it out. Uh, because it is not uh. Not what you want when you go to let your dog out late at night and then you have the door open for him to come back in instead of him coming inside, a bird comes inside. And then you have to, you know, <laughs> deal with some late night bird action in the and house. I'm, I'm sure you, Literally. I'm sure your first thought was, 
what happened to my dog? Why is it a bird? <laughs> Oh, of course, you I thought it was my dog into this bird. Some kind of, um, yeah, some kind of transformation type, you know, not quite like a werewolf, but other, um, some uh, some other kind of transmorphing or whatever fancy schmancy, um, shape shifting word you want to use. Yeah, I thought my dog turned into a bird, and um, yeah, yeah. strangely enough, when yeah, the bird now, came out, Charlie no came back he- in. Yeah. Yeah, you you never see him in the same room at the same time. Oh, isn't that interesting? Isn't that strange? Why has nobody done that yet? Uh, I, I, I mean, th- think about it. A dog uh, on the full moon, it turns into a bird. Mm. Why not? Why Somebody not? Somebody get Hollywood on the phone. They'll do it. They're, they're always looking. I mean, especially if you want to go the mockbuster route, where they're always looking for some kind of new crazy thing what was the most recent there was a mockbuster for some giant monster or some i wish i could remember what it was uh, what was that it was very recent and um it, it cracked me up to think they're still making these piranha conda versus whatever you know just these mm-hmm ridiculous movies um so you could go that route and you know have they they, done an you know uh you know airbud yes yes absolutely of course who doesn't Uh, why have why haven't they done an why why haven't they done an airbud where uh the dog turns into a werewolf Ah, that would be good. Or, or as as you're saying, or a bird, even. Um, if the dog from Air Bud suddenly yeah, sprouted or, wings, I mean, he'd be so much better at basketball. Right, yeah. Well, he could, yeah, he, he just fly it up to the net. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then he would be the top dog, because... You know, when you can fly, you're you're gonna be ahead of everybody. You're gonna be way higher. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know if there's what if lot. what if uh, what if Airbud uh, was a werewolf, but instead of turning into a wolf, he just turned into a person on the full moon, mm, kind of a okay. reverse werewolf. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'd pay money for that. I'd I that get me a front row seat. Well, not front row. I don't want to be. There we go, and screen. we'll get Channing Tatum to play the dog. Right. Well, you know, mocap. Obviously, you know, you gotta you get a little mocap action up and up in here, and it's you know, then I'm sure he's in business because you don't have to do as much when it's mocap. You know, you just get the dots on your face, and you get you know, you get a little like suit to put on with dots on it and bing bang boom you got yourself a movie i did see a picture the other day i saw a picture the other day of a harrison ford i guess it's a couple years ago now did a call the wild movie and the dog was not it was cgi and it was they had an actor there with like a big <laughs> fake snout on, and it's actually the same guy who. This isn't really a spoiler, I guess, but the guy who did who played the chimp in Nope, who did the because uh, they had to have oh, a, no. a guy to do the mocap for that, and it's the same guy that played the dog in The Call of the Wild with Harrison Ford. So who knew? It's, uh, you know, I guess not a lot of people willing to put on those costumes and play animals outside of Andy Circus, of course. Yeah, it, the... well, it takes a real pro. It takes Andy. a real pro to, to capture the spirit of a dog. It does. It does. It's, you know, I mean, you got, if you don't have those deep, soulful eyes and, uh, you, you know, Obviously, puppy dog eyes, that'd be very helpful, but it's going to be difficult. Right. 
It's gonna be difficult. I imagine the most difficult kind of animal to mocap would be a bird. If if you know, to obviously not not short of keeping with tonight's theme, but I do think it'd be very hard to mocap being a bird because you know your eyes are like over here and you got this giant beak in the way. I just I don't know. What are you gonna do? If you're that that actor, not going to be a very pleasant experience, I don't think. Unless you got giant wings you get to wear the whole time. You know, like flap around. I don't know, maybe that'd be fun. Uh, and we're going to get re- we're going to go to our break tonight. And um so we're going to go for right now from birds to Bert. Um we got to pay our respects to a uh, B movie maker who passed away today, uh, Bert I. Gordon, who we've we haven't seen any of his movies yet on the stream, but we did watch some trailers because he's the guy that did a whole bunch of giant monster movies back in the day. Like, like, and when I say giant, he would like film the monster like he would film like an like a a tarantula and then blow you know blow up that film and then just composite it with a bunch of people running around and it made it look giant and that worked and uh so that's uh that's what we're uh you know, that's what he was known for. But this guy was making movies forever. And he died today at 100 years old. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, we saw, like, The Spider, I think, was the trailer that we saw. And then the uh, Empire of the Ants. That was the one he did in the 70s with the the ants. That was so dumb. Um but uh, uh, unfortunately, I don't think any of his giant monster movies are public domain. But there is a horror movie from 1960 that he did that is public domain called Tormented. And it's a ghost story. And we will, I, maybe next season, we'll get to watch that. Um, I've kind of watched it before a long time ago couldn't really tell you what happens but uh it's got you know it's got richard carlson in it you don't know who that is now but i'm gonna tell you back in back in the day he was a big star um so you don't know who that is but you will but you will he was in creature of the black lagoon that's really the big that's probably where most horror movie fans would know him from. But uh, he did this movie with Burt I. Gordon, and Burt I. Gordon passed away today at the age of 100. So we're paying tribute by showing you this Burt I. Gordon trailer for the movie Tormented. And then when we come back, we're going to get into the exciting conclusion of The Angry Birds. So stick around. We'll be right back. Can a man step away from his past into a future free from fear? Or must a dead past return, making of every living moment a time tortured, tormented? (laughs) Tormented, holding you spellbound for the she-ghost of Haunted Island. Dreams of desire overshadowed by nightmares. Can a dead love's lust destroy a man? Or can a man defy the she-ghost of Haunted Island? It's going to be just as though you never existed. I'm going to marry Meg. But at the wedding rehearsal was one uninvited guest. I'll never let you marry Meg. You belong to me, Tom. You belong to a ghost. Tom Stewart killed me! Tom Stewart killed me!
And we are back. So that was the trailer for Tormented. And yeah, as Evan pointed out, another disembodied head, as in the styles of last week's film, The Brain That Wouldn't Die. Oh, I don't know why that was a motif that was so popular at that time. Yeah, not to mention our host tonight. Right. Well, you know, we got to get used to old Frank. I believe his name is Frank. He is every episode just eyeballs right here. And, you know, hello. You know, always the very extended George Takei style. Hello. And fun fun way to start uh start an episode yeah tonight you gotta you gotta who wanted to give him a standing ovation for that um i don't even know what you call that like that pose that he struck when he looked at the candle it was like yeah that was it was dramatic so dramatic that. yeah high drama you can expect that here. i mean we this episode so far has been pretty dramatic i mean this couple is they ain't doing good right now and now we got some angry birds in the mix. And um, I don't know. This wife, she killed the bird. She let the cat out. So I don't know. I don't know what this lady's deal is. Um, You know, you think she'd be happy. But I don't know. Maybe her husband is too obsessed with birds. You know, maybe there's there's. You know, he just watched too much bird up, I guess. He's just too, too into birds. And we're about to get back into this exciting episode of Lights Out. And we will see if these birds actually get their revenge on this this really angry wife. I think that's what we got here. We don't have angry birds. We got an angry wife. And... um. So it's the title of this episode really should be the angry wife versus the angry birds or the angry birds versus the angry wife. Anyway, we're about to get into it. So, uh, Evan, I know you can hear me. So if you have it queued up, then we are going to get into the exciting conclusion of the angry birds, right? Now, Waldo, is all this on the level? Of course it is. Why would I lie to you? Funny gal, Estelle. Adele. Yeah. <laughs> Estelle. Uh, Adele. Uh, Adele. <laughs> I think you better come back to town. That was great. Well, what's her name again? I was simple, Waldo. You got to make Line. a choice. Stay this isn't the rehearsal. Or come back to town. I'm and... a loser anyway. She hates me. I know she does. Oh, you know Adele. She's <laughs> she's sort of like the wick in this cigarette lighter, soggy with combustion. <laughs> what? Put the little wheel and you've got a fire. One minute she hates you. That's the next a she way to you. describe Tell a woman. I be sure that she <laughs> well, that's, I wouldn't mind leaving here, but if Adele doesn't care for me and I have to leave here, he say, too, did he say soggy? She's soggy with combustion, even. You've got to consider her too. It's uh, it's just, just a After like a really charitable you, uh, way of saying John she's moody. You. <laughs> you know, Adele isn't. Well, Adele doesn't belong in the country. She's a, a city creature. It's being out here away from people. She's a city gal. The worst in I don't know if you say that anymore. Oh, look, <laughs> She's a city bird. City bird. She'd only do one little. Thing. That was slang back then. This bird. What do you mean? When you talked about Adele <laughs> Not appropriate now. Because I was a big shot illustrator. <laughs> Nothing. I was just stating a fact, and you've got to consider it. Tell me the truth, Henry. You think that's the only reason why she married me? Oh, Waldo, I don't know. Then I've got to find out. And I won't leave here until I, I thought do. she loved me for me. She just loves me for my bird pictures. <laughs> that's funny. Birds have stopped singing. Funny that they should stop. Did the cat kill all of the birds? Well, though, you've got birds yep. on the brain. Then you're going to walk out of the cat swelled up like a balloon, feathers all around his mouth. I'd still like to do that job for me. It's up to it, I'll let you know. Well, I, uh, I've got to get back to town. Well, uh, 
So long, fella. What a bird brain. Good luck. <laughs> Bye. Sweet feet in the house. Hey, better late than never, sweet feet. Don't, don't sell yourself short. You are here. Tuned in at just the right time. Hi, yeah, we're, we're gonna see what these birds are getting into. Still there in the trees, but they stopped singing. <laughs> They're just glaring angrily now. Like something's gonna happen. Calm before a storm. It's exactly the way I feel. I know it. And it's never too late to learn a lesson. I Many feel times, these life, birds. I that stuff about the meek inheriting the earth. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Hanson, that's my word. All right, go back over to your side of the fence now. Skedaddle. Get home. Oh, has AJ gone? Yes. <laughs> the walk did you good. Your cheeks are pink. Aw. Oh. I'm sorry for what happened. I didn't mean what I said. I know you didn't either. What did H.A. have to say? Mm. He wants me to come back to town. And? I'm not going to do it. Don't do it. Adele, let me explain. Explain what? That you can't walk for your birds than you do for me? Yeah, I'm that's sure. right. <laughs> you can't walk more, more for your birds right. than you do for me. Come on, that thing. Come on, good. Hey, hey, run it, run it. What's the matter, Jackson? It's the cat. You hold the blue jay. It's it. Oh. Under the porch. <laughs> does the cat have a hold of the blue jay or does the blue jay have a hold of the cat? I'm holding this teeth and listening to it squeal. Come on, there. Come on. I'll get my rake. Maybe we can poke it. Yeah. Listen. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get your dang cat out of here. Why is it this cat listening and obeying my commands? Don't be scared. Come on, Johnny. Adele, you've got to get your cat out of there. You've got to call it. He won't come out. You frightened him. But you can try. Please, honey, please. Why should I? You've never done anything for me. What kind of twisted reasoning is that? This has nothing to do with you and me. It's that bird. How can you stand to listen to it suffer? I can stand to listen to it because I know you can. Adele. Help me. I'll do anything. Things will be all right between us, but help me. Oh, my me. God. <laughs> this, this, she crazy. I don't know. I've got a gun over at my place. I'll go get it. Don't you dare. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a gun. I'll go get it. <laughs> We're just going to stand here and, and listen to that bird squeal itself out? Seems to me that Mother Nature gave us humans common sense, so that we could help her out once in a while. Oh. Jesus. God, psycho. Yeah, she's enjoying that a little too much. Too much. Sadist. She is enjoying this pain. Oh, did it lull him to sleep? Oh, no, it's dead. Thank God that's over. Yeah, it only took two hours. I hope you never forget the sound of that bird squealing itself to death. I'll forget it. That and a lot of other things. Maybe you will, but they won't. Birds will remember. <laughs> you can send my See? On. They're smart. They remember. You know what they say. A bird never forgets. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I feel joy. <laughs> I love the shadow work there. They were trying. They hate you. <laughs> you see, I know how they feel. Oh, please help me get away from here. Wouldn't do any good. <laughs> It'll always be the same no matter where you go. Oh, shit. 
I will have my revenge. You've always hated this place. Now you'll never be able to leave it. Waldo, please, please forgive me. Forgive me, I'll, I'll do anything. You say it, anything, I will. Don't ask me to forgive you. I've got nothing against you. It's them. <sighs> Remember what you once said? I just feel the birds. I can't the tell them what to do. Well, maybe they don't approve of living things acting the way you do. Oh. Yes. Now they've got you in a cage. Cage of your own making. And you'll never get out. Never. Such a happy household. Right, isn't it? Now I've got the upper hand. Aha! You've turned my sensitive heart into stone. I hope you're happy. The birds are my wife now. <laughs> I should have always been with the birds. We feel each other. The birds complete me. I will become the bird man. <laughs> Don't end there. Was that it? Don't do this. Oh. <laughs> well, now she knows it isn't very pleasant to be hated, even if it's only by the gentlest of dumb creatures. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, okay. She kind of defeats the purpose. This, yeah, this, this guy better watch out. He's gonna so dumb. draw the ire of the birds. He just said so dumb. Well, me, I didn't hear the last part. Maybe he's talking about her. So dumb. Oh, uh, now this is kind of cool. This is like a a credit sequence, right? Yeah. She, I mean, she's gonna be stuck there forever. The birds are gonna rip her face off, bro. Rip her hair out. Again, that's what I'm worried about. And then your eyes, of course. That's the last thing. And so what you, about the cat? Does the cat just get off scot free? I guess so. The cat? Yeah, I thought I thought the cat would get it. It is wild that they overlaid the end credits over I'm her sure like that. It. Yeah, that's like that actually kind of made up for my initial <laughs> impressions of the ending if i'm being quite honest with you that made a difference and that that's gonna sound kind of like i don't know again like if 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 that was the veil or one step beyond i mean that's kind of how that ending felt initially and mm -hmm. then yeah marvel definitely ripped it you know you gotta i mean i just think that uh, people over time you kind of learn that you if you have something like during your credits or post credits like people do enjoy that like it, i mean you want people to sit through your credits you know people aren't always inclined to do that and um if you have something that's going to keep people in the seat to see every name and also see some additional material i think it's if you can do that, if it's appropriate, it's, it's, you know, why not? And I think here employed to good effect. I wasn't expecting that. So, cause they didn't do it that on the last episode, you know? Um, I feel like it was done with purpose here. So, yeah. Yeah. The, well, I mean, last week's ending was a little bit more definitive, but. Oh yeah. That's why I say this is a little more like a veil or one step beyond episode because it was, it wasn't definitive, but the, I guess that for them, there's this idea of it's chilling that he's just walk off and leave her alone. And she's going to mm -hmm. be trapped in this house. 
and as soon as she decides to leave, all these birds are gonna fuck her up. You know, like I like I like the uh the window, how it had that kind of a uh, wire frame, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a little more cage like. Ah, I don't know that, if that was intentional good. or not, but it, if not, it was a happy accident. If not, yeah, I totally agree with you. It's it's the imagery is a hundred percent there. I didn't I didn't think about it, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, just that yeah, that imagery of her just kind of searching out. That's that definitely made a difference for me to see that over the credits. It wasn't like total a total cop out in the way that you know like it, they were still trying to drive the message home even while the credits are going which is like they're trying to keep it with you it's like all right we weren't just trying to get in and get out and now here's the credits uh which the veil i i think is the most guilty of because <laughs> i mean some of those episodes man the endings are just not existent it's just boris karloff comes up and then it's the same theremin and fireplace ending every time. I mean, you see that over the credits, but it's not it's not episode specific ever. It's so it's just kind of boring. Um so here to do some episode specific that stays with you, it's trying to stay with you. I think that's cool. Um so I get I'm two episodes in. I'd say I'm really enjoying Lights Out so far. I'm yeah, yeah, it's all right. I'm I'm definitely impressed with what they can do in 1950 with tell you know this basically being live on very small sets. I mean, I love the line flubs tonight, uh, Estelle, uh, Adele. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it was great. Uh, there's, there's a certain raw quality to that, that you can't, you know. It, yeah. I, I appreciate that in some of these old things, they were, uh, just willing to let some of these things go a little more than, you know, we would nowadays. Yeah. I mean, you didn't have, you didn't have the resources or the time really this thing you're making is expected by a certain day <clears throat> and you have to have it in like at this day at this time and so one you know taking something more than once is going to set you back like in all of those things so you just roll through it if it's not a huge fuck up you know you just go um so yeah that was the angry birds and that was a that was definitely um, you know, obviously they were, there was no other way they were going to, there was no way they were going to bring the birds in to the episode. It was mostly sound design. And I don't, I actually couldn't tell if that was shadow work or if that was just the edges of the, of the kinescope. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, not sure. Um, but it looked like there was like some kind of shadow work on the house when she was running yeah, back inside. It was like something. So, you know, that's at least they tried. Um that a dead bird. I was, you know, a little bit of live bird action, but not much. So, uh, you know, I mean again, I'm uh, I'm dealing with my own bird problems, my own angry birds. So hopefully uh the birds know that I don't hate them and I'm not be- going to be cursed or anything you know i'm not Be careful I'm not, don't anger the birds yeah I, I'm, I'm trying not to i'm doing everything i can not to so we will uh if i have any updates yes yeah that's that's what we were saying sweet feet it, yeah definitely the angry birds better than angry birds the game i absolutely agree and um have i ever played angry birds no, I have not. Um, shocking. I think it's pretty much the same. You yeah, know, it's been a while since I've played, but it. The only bird... it feels like a pretty, uh, you know, a, 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 a pretty faithful, if maybe derivative, uh, adaptation of this program. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I, I could see that. Uh, you know, you can't, you can't all video games can't aspire to the level of 1950 live television. But what are you gonna do? It's yeah, well, they'll get there someday. Someday, but um, you just can't attain the level of popularity that Lights Out had. It's just cultural, culturally, just can't doesn't doesn't equivocate. Lights Out, it's just revolutionary just so much so much ground being broken on lights out so please join us for the next few weeks as we continue to bring you whatever chilling stories they've got lined up for us on lights out um i'll try to keep it try to keep it on theme every time i've got like 12 episodes set aside that i'm just drawing like a name from every week and so obviously with with the bird action lately, I've I've felt like this was only appropriate. Um, so what will I choose next week? It's a mystery. I don't know, but it'll be it'll be good. I'm excited. Um, so that was uh that was our mini sode for the week, and you know we've got our main stream this Friday. We are showing Nosferatu from 1922. It is our silent movie for season five, and it is it is a groundbreaking horror movie. It really is, like in every sense of the word. It is, uh, this is a big one. It's a big one. It is a perfect uh, example of German expressionist horror. Um, I mean, again, it's different from Caligari. So Caligari we saw in season one, Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, and that is that is German expressionism in one way. And it's very a much more artificial way than what we'll see from Nosferatu. Nosferatu tries to do a lot of shadow work and a lot of kind of, you know, a lot of things with lines and angles and lightness and darkness with sets, but this is all very, it's all very real sets. It's all yeah, supposed we're not getting to be hand painted, uh, background. shadows. No, 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 no hand painted shadows and no, none of that. It's all very practical and it is a, it's some really frightening imagery in Nosferatu. I mean, the, the care, I mean, and everybody knows, and maybe you're not frightened if you've seen SpongeBob, the SpongeBob episode enough times, uh, where Nosferatu is just turning the lights on and off. But, uh, the image certainly frightened me when I was a child. Uh, the image of Nosferatu from Nosferatu, not from SpongeBob. I, <laughs> I, to tell you the kind of child I was, I had already seen the movie Nosferatu before I saw the SpongeBob episode with Nosferatu. So just to give you, you know, the the idea of a kind of child I was growing up. Um, but it was in my set with Caligari in that DVD set. So of course I, I saw it early. But it's again, we're all going to be watching it together. We're going to be having a good time, but. It's long, and when I was a kid, I, I can't say that I've sat, that I was able to sit through it all the way. And even now, I haven't seen it all the way from beginning to end. So I'm very excited for this Friday because it'll be, it will be my first time watching it from beginning to end. So, um, it's it's almost two hours. Two hours or an hour and a half. Hour and a half is like the longest movie that we've showed on the stream so far. And Nosferatu definitely pushes. There's some different cuts too. Um, Evan, I don't know if you're uh if you're if, if you yeah, I can hear you. I don't know if you can look up the uh oh, the, the runtime the run time of Nosferatu, but I would be yeah, interested to to know because I uh maybe it's Maybe it's just under uh hour twenty one. Oh, okay. So it's not that bad. I it's was overselling it. Uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I was overselling it. Unless that's the edited version. Um, yeah, do but, we have the director's cut? Well, the golem was long. That was long. We watched that in season two. 
And that was that was almost two hours. And so was Hunchback of Notre Dame, which we watched in season three. Uh, both very long movies. And I get what did we what silent movie did we watch last season? The um the one the the slum hat movie. Oh, Phantom Carriage. That's right. Yeah. How could I forget? Yes, we got our first Swedish film that maybe our only Swedish film in the stream. I'm not sure. But yeah, that we did. We saw the Phantom Carriage. And that was a yeah, that Phantom Carriage was also two hours. <laughs> so so uh Nostratu will be a little actually shorter. So it'll be a breath of fresh air. I think Cal uh Caligari's relatively short. I mean, it's just over an hour. It's like hour ten, hour fifteen. So we're we're getting closer to that. So it's really not bad. And again, it's a Dracula adaptation. So it's interesting. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's an illegal Dracula adaptation. It was not authorized <laughs> by Bram Stoker's widow. She said no. And FW Murnau said, fuck it. I'm just going to change the names and do it anyway. Just and do it anyway. Just do it anyway. And he did. And, um, and there was a, not a, not a very subtle, uh, <laughs> It's the same damn thing. It's, it's really the uh, exact same thing. Aside from his touches. And Evan is actually, Evan told us last week, he is reading Dracula right now. Yeah, um, yeah. I've been I've been reading Dracula. Uh still still still, you know, slowly working my way through it. It's uh It's a long book. Yeah, it's a chunky book, but it's it's been good. And I'm excited to kind of have you with what you've read so far kind of compare and contrast. I think in the back half of this movie it deviates quite a bit. I could be wrong, but I'm I'm you know, again. I think I think you you're right. I think the it it's funny to me and you know, we can talk more about this on Friday, but uh just the idea that this is um it's uh trying to like it's an adaptation but it's trying to be its own thing but it's really just it's just dracula right they're not trying although i mean of course the whole look of of um the character of nosferatu is you know he stay that is different yeah in the I, book I he his it does it does his appearance change in the book? I uh, well, uh, he does. He gets younger when he drinks blood. He's yeah. Kind of okay. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because that's, of course, in the movie Bram Stoker's Dracula, he, he gets younger. Um, which, if you haven't seen that movie, see that movie, and then after you've seen that movie, go watch Dracula Dead and Loving It by Mel Mel Brooks. If you like young frankenstein if you love young frankenstein you'll like dracula dead and loving it i i love dracula dead and loving it because i've seen all these dracula movies so for me mm -hmm. it was like all right i get it i get it i got it i got it um but it's very 90s just like bram stoker's dracula is very 90s anytime keanu reeves is playing a british person you know it's like well they're really they're really trying to sell sell this guy huh um you know him and winona ryder uh the two most non british people to play <laughs> to play british people um what are you going on you uh, or should I say English? Uh, who knows? Who knows over there? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we're very excited for that. And as always, Evan's going to bring us a wonderful cocktail to pair with the evening's film, the little segment which we call... What were you drinking? What are we drinking on Friday, Evan? Uh, this Friday, we have a... A uh, fun drink called the Closed Coffin. Uh, much like in the film, uh, we've got some closed coffins. Uh, they don't stay closed, but 
Uh, this drink is also sure to get us open. It is made with some vodka, uh, cinnamon schnapps, and Jägermeister, uh, all equal parts, stirred into a shot glass. Uh, this is our first shot that we've done. I, I oh, so this is a shot, like a shot, a shot shot? Yeah, this is this is a shot. So we're, we're supposed be, to just like take this all like sh- shoot it shoot it? like we're, we're shooting we're we, shooting we on ain't Friday. sipping on this oh no 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 fuck well that's gonna be interesting yeah Very interesting so it's kind of a different game it is a different game isn't it yeah that'll be a whole different ball game I'll have to be prepared uh that's exciting actually I think that's a good I think that's good for Nosferatu I think it's a pro I think closed coffin is appropriate uh you know that's that's the only is a closed coffin did i say that right yeah okay i keep thinking one to say closed casket you know. yeah that that's a different one that's also a different <laughs> i'm sure it is on cocktailmaker.com or whatever the whatever <laughs> the big one is uh but yeah no it sounds delicious uh well yeah first shot first Whew, that'll be something else. I'm excited. I am excited. It'll be good. But uh, join us on Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern for that. It is going to be wild. Again, Nosferatu is just such a... The imagery alone is nightmare fuel, if you're asking me. Because I, I had nightmares after I... I didn't watch Nosferatu, actually. I watched a movie that was a dramatization of the making of Nosferatu and it gave me nightmares. Uh, but we'll talk about that movie on Friday. It's, it's, it is, it is a bonkers idea from the mind of a singular genius named Nicolas Cage, but we'll, we'll talk about that next week. Just, just to tease you or Friday, but just to tease you really hard for Friday. Um, Nicholas Cage get gets his name. He gets in here too. So so it's gonna be fun. Um but yeah, uh so let's see. I'm tr- trying to take inventory here. Uh thanks everybody so much for watching tonight. Uh you can go check out any of our past episodes over on the YouTube page. Be sure to go over there and check out all our movies and mini sods and shorts and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. You can follow us over on the Twitter and the Instagram at Screamstream Show. You can follow me over on the Twitter. Uh, I guess, I guess the gram. I don't know. My gram is, my gram is private. I need. I don't know. Maybe I need to open it up. I need to I need to play around with that. But you can follow me on the Twitters at Spakenstein, of course. What else? You uh, believe it or not, we had a huge update on Friday. Uh, at the end of Friday's episode, blew my mind. Um, you can you never f- thought you'd see the day. Never thought I would see the day, Evan. No, I did not. Uh, you can find Evan on Twitter at Caligari underscore cursed. Um, it's weird though, Evan. I try to look. I like when Fresh and I tried to look it up. We had trouble, and so it's kind of hard to find so yeah, if you're I'm, I'm still a little tricky but i'm in there it's tricky but if you uh, but I'll, I'll i'll tell you the hack if you go to my twitter or fresh's twitter and you look at our our followers or who we follow you'll see caligari cursed evan sink so uh you can now follow him on twitter and we've uh yeah Already been. I mean, have you been branching out at all, Evan? How's that been going? Uh, have I been branching out to other uh, social media? You mean? Mm-mm-mm. Just oh, on Twitter. Yeah, been... Just on Twitter. <laughs> it's gonna. It's gonna take me a minute. Honestly, I'm so far behind the eight ball. I feel like an old grandpa trying to figure out how to use Twitter. 
Oh, bro, there's nothing. It's not that. You just got to find the things that you like or people that you like and follow those people or things. And then you just see all kinds of cool, crazy stuff. Whatever communities that you kind of want to be involved in or know more about, they're out there on Twitter. And we love our, our horror community, our horror family out there, of course. And so, you know, Evan, that's Twitter is your oyster. You can go find, you know, whatever video game, uh, you know, anything. It's, it's, you know, go follow to your heart's desire. That's what I say. Uh, yeah, I can get to the bottom of these angry birds. Oh, I, I, somebody better. I certainly can't. I'm I'm already scared enough as it is. Um and tonight's episode did not help. So uh thank you everybody so much for watching tonight. Evan, thank you as always for joining me. Uh anything before we sign off tonight? You're considering murdering your husband's pets, uh maybe consider couples therapy <sighs> sounds like good advice until friday sweet screams everybody and to all a good fright